Deep in the offices of esports giant KT Rolster, practicing his StarCraft II skills amidst the trophies and training rooms, is KT's premier Protoss player, Zest. In just under a week, he will face off against a ferocious Zerg opponent for the GSL's Code S finals. Though at the moment, he is not concerned. He's, he's not making anything out of this, uh, this Stargate. Yeah, I think that's a misclick. But for now, it does look like game number one. His Phoenix Micro has been really, really fantastic. G Back. G, new meta Artosis. I mean, really, uh, almost making a fool out of Zest here. GG. Yeah. Uh, and actually, even more coming out here now. Oh, my God. And I think the combination might be too much. Zerg is maxed out. Has a couple Void Rays. Uh-oh, though. This is quite a bit concave coming in. There is no way that all these Blink Stalkers are going to come out. GG. GG. G For a one-on-one -on -one matchup, there is no other competitive game quite like StarCraft. But today, most of the esports world is focused not on single player, but instead on multiplayer games. Dynamic team competitions based on cooperative tactics drive fans in the millions to play and watch MOBAs. Multiplayer online battle arena games trace their popular origins to another of Blizzard's critically acclaimed real-time strategy games, the predecessor to the StarCraft universe, Warcraft. Sakuma will clean up that army! In July 2013, producer Ken Chen followed Team Liquid's Dota 2 squad in their quest to win the largest esports prize pool at that year's Valve hosted tournament, the International. Team members TC, Bulba, IX Mike, Fluff, and Korok met a month beforehand to train together at a team house outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. To have any hope of winning, they will need to work together and hone their skills in time for the tournament. I think it's in there. Yeah. It doesn't. I think it's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I, I don't know if I'm pulling it quick okay. hard enough. Why you video Your support, you should know how to pull. <laughs> yeah. Hi. So this is the uh, living room, the kitchen? And we're gonna play in here. Is he just gonna be in here? It's gonna be like four people on this one. Yeah. And then you have a, an extra desk over here that we're gonna assemble. It's like a sauna, dude. What? It's like a sauna. Yeah. You gonna go swim later? The instant you walk out. No. I don't, I don't even know how to swim. You know how to swim? You might die in the ocean. That's why I don't go in the ocean. I have a DD in the middle. He doesn't have boots, so he's level 5. Alright, so we free then. Oh, the wave will push. Can you come bottom for me? Yeah, I can't tell me something. Alright. In 1994, Blizzard released its first real time strategy game, Warcraft Orcs and Humans. The critical acclaim from gamers spurred the development of equally impressive sequels Warcraft 2. StarCraft, 
and eventually Warcraft 3. In each of these games, the developers included the ability for the player to create their own maps, modifying the game beyond the included storyline. There is no game designer in the world who is smarter than all of the players who are playing their game, right? And that translates to a lot of different things. Dota is one of those instances where there were some brilliant game designers who made some great games in Warcraft and all that stuff at Blizzard. But the players said, hey, it would be cool if we did this thing. And they modded the game and they created, uh, you know, the early versions of Dota and uh, kind of a whole new genre was born out of it. Defense of the Ancients, or simply Dota, was the first widely popular MOBA style of game. Instead of building up economies and training units like in typical real-time strategy, players controlled only one unit whom they could make stronger over time. It kind of brings your focus down from you know the entire map to just one piece of the map, kind of wherever you are. You still have to be aware of everything else, but it, you're not constantly you know flipping back and forth. RTS is basically a one v one game typically, so it's just like one person versus another, and they control a lot of units compared to Dota, where if you play with a team and you work on teamwork and you control very minimal amount of units. I guess when you're playing a solo game like StarCraft, it's not that big, but you really have to have good synergy with your teammates and. Talking is a huge part of the game. We can kill this guy now? Yeah, yeah. I don't have to search in six. No, six, six. Oh, we might need TC for the die, though. Come TC? I can't. Actually, it's fine. Just TP if you get in the final. So today we're going to be playing EG in the finals of the ADL. Uh, first place is going to be 5k, and we're pretty excited. EG is actually, I think, 16-0. They haven't, they haven't lost a single game. What do you think our chances are uh, against EG, Fluff? It's pretty high. Probably 80%. 80%? Yeah. Letting out. I have a pistol of demon. I need to just drop. Force, forcing, 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 forcing. Yeah. <laughs> That's $5,000. Thoughts on winning ADL? It was, uh, it was intimidating to go in against the undefeated team, but those games looked pretty easy for us because uh, we just played what we practiced and it, everything worked out. Mike, was that easy? Yes. Short day today. Short day. It's like if it comes in and hits it, I can catch the bottle and they don't get the points for it. <laughs> that is, that's my teammate. Maybe take a few practice for us. Slippery though, it's contaminated. Really? Really, Mike? <laughs> oh, oh, get the bottle! Oh my god. Mike! I told you he was gonna get it first. Fucking Mike! I told you. Uh, friendship is, is actually really important in the team. My fucking phone entered this pool. How did it enter the pool? It joined me. <laughs> joined me for a fucking swim. <laughs> Past year I've been living in a team house, I'd say. And it's fun. It's a lot of fun. You get a game as much as you want. No one will complain about it. You're going to be kind of loud, stay up late. You won't have roommates to complain about because they're probably doing the same thing as well. Don't want to close your eyes. Don't want right. to fall yeah. asleep because I miss you, baby. Right Don't want to miss again. Oh, don't want to go na, na, top na, top na, top na, na. Na. Fuck. What the hell, man? Uh, well, we play Mouse in the loser bracket of the defense in like 45 minutes. It'll be good to see how we do against Mouse, who just won the EMS. I'm keeping. Lush, lush, lush. Come down, I can grave. Searching Cork. TC, what went wrong? Uh. We lost. 
I mean, everyone's pretty upset, I guess. Like, no one talks as much. It can take a few days to recover. It might take longer. It's hard to say. It's a bad play. That's it. Fuck, anything to say? Everything is a, is a response to losing, really. Like, if we win, everyone's fucking cool, right? Yeah. Like, losing is the reason why Mike gets blamed for the small shit. Or why, like, if there's any resentment, like, whatsoever. Like, I feel like everyone's, like, cool, you know? But when, we fuck, when you fucking lose so much, it's like, it's like the most demoralizing thing in the world. Is you, can blame, <laughs> you can blame a million different things, and you can, like, private chat whoever the fuck you want, but that's just because nothing's getting better. When you lose so much, nothing's getting better. It's like, it's hopeless, you know? It's a hopeless feeling. Are we gonna talk about his phone? Hmm? No? It, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, so... Like to the documentary. Okay, so, Mike, uh... Mike went swimming the other day. And he had his phone. Oh my god, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I don't pull it up, man. You don't break it if you pull on it. That's why your headset's broken. My headset's not broken. I don't appreciate you talking to me like that. Where's your phone? <laughs> I mean, it's very important that you're friends with all of your teammates because I've been on a lot of teams where even just one person wouldn't get to get along with another person. That can ruin a team. So if all five players aren't friends with each other, the team eventually will like self-destruct. Let's all be honest. The whole goal of it, of, of this, is to get far in TI. If we fucking flame out of TI, some of you probably won't have to be teammates anymore if we finish like 16th or something. So now is the time to really be open. 15th to get hospital. Sure, whatever. Like, thank you. I th I'm glad you're aiming at 15th and not 16th. Thank you. But uh, there's no real reason to preserve, like, holding something back to, like, save someone's feelings at this point. So just. You don't have to be mean to each other, but just being direct and open is good. The last uh, boot camp training game, the last scrim, we just played it. Congrats on a good boot camp, everyone. Thank you. Good boot camp? Uh, it's okay. It's okay? All right. The International began in 2011 as an opportunity for Valve Corporation to promote their sequel to the Dota mod, Dota 2. As a standalone game, it was far richer in graphics and balance, a free-to-play experience which became all the more attractive once the size of the prize pools were announced. Rumors of the International are going out, it's like, one million dollars? I was like, there's no way. Okay? There's absolutely no way that there's a tournament coming out for one million dollars. It's a joke. And then we ended up getting the confirmation from Valve and everything like, wow, this is actually ridiculous. With so much on the line, teams from around the world would come to compete for the top spot. Some of the best of them from East Asia. Love their Chinese players over there. It was probably two or three years where Chinese were like undefeated. They had training houses before any European or North American team had it. So they had like, they took the game very, very seriously and it took a while until Europeans and American teams starting to do the same thing, make team houses or just start studying the game and playing it for real. If we win one game against IG tomorrow, we're guaranteed top four. If we win both and Alliance wins both of their games, we'll get second place in the group, which is good because then the first place team in the other group can't choose us. taken one point to get us in the winners finals and um, that could have come from anywhere if we fought for it hard enough.
with our team, it depends on like which liquid shows up, whether or not that like determines how well we'll do. It can either be really, really good or really terrible. And today it was terrible. Based on their preliminaries performance, Team Liquid are placed in a single elimination bracket, a best of one. They must win two of these games to make it into the money, three games to make it into the top four. Korok, TC, Fluff and Stuff, IX, Mike and Bulba are the five members that complete the team. So what can you tell us about Team Liquid? They've only been around for maybe eight, eight or nine months. They do have a lot of veterans on their team. I think Korok was at CI before Bulba as well. So they definitely do have potential. I must say they looked a lot stronger earlier in 2013 and right now they're not really at their peak. I think they still haven't shown what their full potential is and what best way to show it that in a match where you actually have to win. Hi. Hey guys. Hey. How's it going? Alright. So we'll have a uh, make a wish kid who's going to come by. Alright. He'd really like to get a shot with you guys. Sure. You guys realize you're going to have to carry the American flag now that Dignity tosses out. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, TC, get in there a little bit. Oh. I need to see Fluff's face. <laughs> okay, guys. Team Liquid versus Invasion MUFC. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to our very first best of one of the day. Four teams are going home today. Either Liquid or MUFC will be one of the first. I, I personally like it when there's a lot of people watching. It gets your blood pumping. It's a best of one. You can run whatever strat you want. If it's creative, if it catches your opponents off guard, maybe it's the difference. And MUFC clearly want to push. You definitely have to have a certain level of focus, I think, and competitive drive to be a pro. I mean, you have to want to win. That's the biggest thing. It's up here. Winter could be our first blood. He's in a bit of trouble. There's a frostbite, and it probably will be. He lifts him up. He throws him down. He doesn't have a sound. This crowd, it's not enough. First blood to Liquid. Here comes the cavalry. Make it a bear. Tetherstone on MCFC. Guardian Angel's in. It's not enough, though. One more hit. Down he goes. Watch out, Bulba's hunting, wrapping around the tree oh, line, Roar. Roar's gonna fly, there's a relocate available, not it. being used oh. yet, yes they are, they really want this kill, and they're gonna get it, MUFC overrun, outplayed, they gave away a whiff, and they just had no answer for it. Liquid, they want it to be in the upper bracket, their work is hardly done yet, but they get off to a good start here, North America's last hope has won a game. But, uh, but yeah, I'm um, to see the Fridge, on. We still have like five to ten minutes. So, the, they, they come and get you. Yeah. This best of one is like for 40k. Yeah, I've never, it's like 40k in one hour Dota. Oh, yeah. Six thousand dollars an hour. We can lose. After what about the round after this for like seventy k in one best of one? Mike, if we lose to LG, what are you gonna do? Running to a bus. Why? Because I can't go home empty-handed again. Family. Yeah. It's too disappointing, dude. LGD China. Of course, this is the team that will have to go up against Team Liquid, who are on their home turf. It's Yao, Zhao Wei, DDC, Sila, and DD. We'll see how they come out in this match. And I think they just have to be as solid as they can be and play to their strengths. If they do that, they could take this. LGD China is one of the more fundamentally strong teams. Like if you don't have very good mechanics, they will take advantage of that. They end the game really early, usually, when they have an advantage. And they're good at pushing their advantage. Excuse me. <laughs> I want to play Dota. <laughs> <laughs> It's now time for Team Liquid versus LGD Gaming. Best of one, loser eliminated, winner in the top eight and in the money. I'm LD and I'm joined here by Luminous. It is a best of one. Liquid so far though, it's looking pretty standard from them. Right. I mean, I feel like personally Five LGD seconds. China is perhaps the better team if all things are equal. Team I mean, they said they were not in good form, 
and they just went toe-to-toe -to -toe against probably the tournament flavor alliance so i think team liquid gotta toss him something up in the air they gotta spy things up because if you play a standard game against lg china i'm not sure what they'll take it from them liquid on the dire side the hometown favorites korok on the gyrocopter tc on the razor fluff and stuff the crystal maiden boba on a signature clock that puts ix mike last but certainly not least the stash Onto the Bane, and on the Radiant side, you've got Team LGD China, the Yao Mag, probably the best mag in the world, definitely in the discussion. DDC, the Jakiro, Sylar, the Alchemist. Oh my god, a DD, the Naga Siren. We'll have Xiao Wei, last but not least, the Nature's Prophet. Continue. It's really an escalation here for both teams in arms race. They ward, we D ward, then they ward again. Both teams going at it. There's a Frostbite Ooh. on DD. They've stunned up Fluff and stuff. Ice Pad to fly. In comes the Nuke, but he's slept by Ix Mike, keeping him alive. The Nukes come through. He's not dead yet. Yes, he is. First blood to LGD China. Could there be a turnaround? Nothing in sight, and that's the power of the Nature's Prophet. That's a bad news for Team Liquid fans out there because you run offensive trolling, you expect to dive, you expect to get kills, but a great TP from Xiaowei as well as a quick coordination coming out from uh, LG China. They secure first blood. They found Fluff, but they really want Korok. Net to fly. It's a long duration stun. A good sleep from Mike, but Ice Pad comes through. Korok low. Korok in a lot of trouble. One more hit. Still running. He's got Scoot. Silar does it. He's going to live. Turns it around. There's another nuke to fly. They need one more ice path. Dukes, it's not enough. They'll go for the dual breath. Korok does fall. Shall I hiding on the safety of his trees? You can see Boba walking around to find that angle. He's Tree got the vision now. He's got the angle. Hope yes. to fly. Caught him out. Xiao Wei did a whole lot of trouble. Easy pickets for Bulba. Yeah, looking. RP is in. Didn't catch TC. Liquid still standing. Oh, now here comes oh. Boba. Two man come. And the AOU will fly through Korok with the right clicks. They get Yao. They now work out Silent. Silent on stand as well. Boba making huge plays against LGD China. On the run. Dusted up. All the damage stolen. And Silar just has no way out. Boba's done it again. Silar with the right clicks. He gets up by his mic. He's slow. He's going to get one, but he's dropping. Korok wins the man fight. Yao comes back in. Hooks back in by Boba. They win the team fight. TC grabs the cheese. It's a fine man fight. Yao's almost dead. Not yet. Silar to fall. Lakewood are doing it. They're going to take it. And Lady and China are going on. Oh and Boba is on his feet. You would have given them any chance against LGD China heading into this tournament. But they have shocked the world. They take a best of one. They're in the money. And the third place team from last year is out of the tournament. Quick reaction. <laughs> I'm speechless. Am I, I'm, is this real life? Mike, you're the most American. You, you got to put it in. Nice fucking Saudi Arabian. Yeah, I'm Saudi Arabian. Yeah, it'll be a message of tolerance for everyone. Welcome back, everybody, inside the Ben Royal Hall. We are here. IG versus Liquid. The best of one lower bracket match. I am Toby One. And I'm Wagamama. And this is going to be awesome. And Liquid open up with a big solo mid. They have the OD. Wants to open up. Tucky's dragging him back. Nick's done. Holds Bulba away. Joe, nice low life. He can't Jakuchi. Nice. He can't Jakuchi. Liquid get first blood. Lasso, but Frostbite by Mike. And holds YYF Patrol with a double stun. Goes into Mike. It's a double kill for YYF. Main target Ferrari man. Nice it's all Titanic. He just turns on the Bulba. Bulba will drop. Mike as well. There's nothing they can do to stop this. This is sadly just too strong for my team. Liquid have still gone further than I think anyone when they first started would have expected. There's your GG. GG and well played. IG will advance in this competition. 
They will not be eliminated. The defending champs keep their hopes alive while taking out the last American one. The, the crowd actually recognizes the efforts, efforts of Team Liquid. Being with the team and uh, sharing in their losses and wins is unlike anything else. It's like um, when they lose, it's a lot of the times really crushing. Um, and it's like as a manager, you sort of have to not let that affect you. Like a lot of times you have to be their rock when, when they feel down and you have to pick them up. But when they win, and seeing them win, and seeing them being successful is it's unlike anything else. When you see that they have the mental fortitude to take bad things in stride, and to say, all right, we can come back from this, they don't give up, and ultimately, that's the kind of mentality that players are gonna need to, to win championships. It is, you know, high-level competition um, that requires the same focus, dedication, practice, commitment as any other athletic sport would. If it wasn't for the competition, I probably wouldn't be playing. So. I guess kind of chasing that feeling. It's taking kind of the, the fantasy genre and kind of having some whimsical violence thrown in. The organization of Tempo was the first in Brazil and the first in Brazil. We had a lot of problems because of this. You have to rely on other people. Communication comes into play. Okay, hey, I'm coming in for a gank. Or this guy's missing a pop, so be careful. Really wants to, to be the person that I think a lot of his fans think he is. The path we've taken together has made us really, really good friends.